If you do this right, it can literally enable you to send thousands of cold emails per day. And you can see, I haven't sent a single one of these emails. This is all instantly.ai doing this all for me. So I'm receiving this email from instantly AI. You wanna know the best free email warm-up tool. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that along with everything that you need to know to make sure that you never land up in spam again. Now, if you guys don't already know, on this channel, I'm pretty much documenting every single important thing that I come across when it comes to running my own AI business. So this is one of those things that I thought is probably one of the best use cases that you can justify when it comes to using AI. If you do this right, it can literally enable you to send thousands of cold emails per day without having to worry about half of them getting sent to spam and half of them not even just delivering to your prospects or your clients. So it's a really good use case and I highly recommend you guys stay till the end of the video to make sure that you're putting on all of the correct settings. All right, so the tool that we're going to be using here is called Instantly AI. And if you guys haven't heard of it, it's perfectly fine. I'll explain it to you very briefly. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do outside of just warming up your emails. As you can see right here, it says find warm leads. You can scale emails email campaigns, reach primary inboxes, engage my, there's a bunch of different stuff you can use. And the whole thing is that it's all leveraging the power of AI in order to do it. But before I get into it, I want to explain a little bit of context, okay? So prior to being able to use AI to do this stuff, you genuinely would have had to spend two to three weeks and you kind of do still have to spend two to three weeks, but I'll get into that later. You would have had to spend that amount of time kind of manually engaging with people, sending emails, opening emails, kind of simulating a real human behavior when it comes to emails, right? And that's pretty much how you go about warming up your email addresses and a lot of you guys I know myself especially didn't even know that warming up my email address was a thing when I first got into business right I remember wondering how come nobody's replying to me and then I sent an email to myself and I was like where's the email I, I can't find it and I realized that it was in spam and that was one of the first times that I realized okay so what's the process here in order to actually get delivered to my prospects and my clients and then I went through the whole rabbit hole of figuring out what to do well the good thing is that we live in the 21st century and now we have tools exactly like instantly AI to be able to do this stuff entirely for us. The only thing is that we still do have to wait around two, two to three weeks. I, honestly, you only need to do two weeks, but I'll explain more of that as we go along with the tutorial. So head on over to the website. It's called Instantly AI. I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to make sure that you're going onto the exact right website. You know, there can be a lot of weird stuff happening these days. So just click the link in the description if you're worried about anything. And then you should be met with this interface. Once you're here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just click start for free. And then it should prompt you to basically create an account. So I'm going to create my account to be honest with you I already have an account created obviously so I'm just going to log in and then I'll meet you guys once I'm on the inside all right so we made it inside the instantly interface and now I just want to emphasize something real quick so everything that I'm about to show you guys you can do completely for free with the free trial and I believe the free trial lasts two weeks which is literally all that you need in order to do the significant amount of warming up your emails it is recommended for you to continue it after that two weeks at least a little bit just to keep things going but it's not completely necessary the chunk of the effort is going to be done within those two weeks so that's all that I'll say about that. Now, once you're here, you can see this navigation bar on the left-hand corner. You've got Lead Finder, you've got Campaigns, you've got Unibox, a bunch of different stuff. Like I said, guys, there's so much you can do within Instantly, but we're going to be really honing in on warming up the emails for this video. So you want to head on over to where it says email accounts right here. Now, obviously, it goes without saying, guys, you guys won't have any emails here. You can see that I do have two emails. So I've already been practicing everything that I'm about to show you guys how to do. Now, when you do arrive on this page, and you don't have any emails linked. Obviously, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the top right-hand corner where it says plus add new and you click the button and there's three different ways that you can go about this so the first way is to kind of get instantly to give you accounts that have already been pre-warmed up as it says the only thing about this like it says down here there's only 185 domains remaining and you really don't have much variety I guess as to what you're picking you can see it's a bunch of kind of predetermined domains so I really wouldn't recommend that especially if you have your own personal brand that you want a specific domain for and kind of just exclude that option to begin with the second option in the middle here is called done for you email setup this is if you want instantly to actually create the email accounts for you and then proceed with warming it up so as you can see it says we set up your accounts we choose the domain and the account names automatic reconnect save time and money it's basically just a simple way to do it if you don't already have an email set up but I imagine that the majority of you along with myself is probably going to be going for this third option here which is going to be connecting existing accounts because most of you will already have a business or a brand or an email that already exists and all you want to do is connect it to instantly so you can warm up the email and then get cold email or doing whatever you want to do with it. So the majority of you will come here. You'll have, I imagine, either a Microsoft email, an Outlook, or a Gmail, which is what I had, and then you'll simply click this. Now, the only thing is that because I'm on the free trial, I'm showing you guys everything the free trial would allow, 
The free trial only allows for you to have two emails connected. And as you guys saw at the start, I already have my two emails getting warmed up as we speak. So when I click on this, it's going to come up and it's going to say trial limit reached. But it's very simple. Whenever you guys do click this button here to connect your Gmail, it's the simplest thing ever. I think it's like three steps, plus they have a tutorial video to show you exactly what to do. So when my tutorial finishes, that tutorial will pretty much pick up and it's so unbelievably easy. You just go through that and you link your Gmail. And by the way, guys, I guess I'll mention here real quick, if you guys do have any questions, questions or you want to talk to me directly, I do have a free community linked in the description below. You can literally join it and you can talk directly to me, but that's all I'll say about that. So I'm going to assume that you have your email accounts linked that you want to warm up right here as I do. And now let's get into actually some of the settings. So this is the main part. This is the part that a lot of you guys want to make sure that you're listening in for. As you can see right here, these emails that I already have set up, they're on pace to send 30 emails a day. You can see zero out of 30. You can see the amount of warm up emails they've already sent. And you can also see the health score. So if I click into this, you're going to be able to see all of the green basically means emails that were sent and delivered but you can see this one little red one right here is an email that would have landed in spam or rather it did land in spam but the good thing about instantly is that when it does land in spam it basically gets retrieved and it gets saved from spam so it almost effectively reduces the likelihood that it's going to flag in the gmail i don't know email system showing up as like oh you're, you're sending spam emails let's lower your deliverability that type of thing and then really quick guys as well this little flame on the right side for you guys it's going to be a gray flame and it's not going to be green and that basically just signifies that the warm-up has not began yet so obviously you want it to stay gray until you finalize all of your settings and once you're happy with everything then you click on the green flame so let's get into the settings now you're going to be able to customize whatever you want the sender name to be so this is literally what it's going to show up in any of the emails it's going to say the first name and the last name as you would expect so for me it's just brand boost is the first name and then the last name is ai because that's how i want it to show up the signature literally doesn't matter don't worry about it tags don't matter don't worry about it. Now, this is where the majority, the main settings that I want you guys to really listen in on, okay? So we've got the daily campaign limit. This, set it around 20 to 40, okay? Which is why I go to 30. You don't want to send too much that is kind of flagging the system and being like, this random account that's just been created is already sending 200 emails a day. Matter of fact, I think if I change this to like 200, no, okay, I thought it came up with an error message, but there are a few settings in here that if you kind of inflate the number too much, it's going to come up with an error message. The same way if you deflate it, I guess, it's going to say this is too little or this is too much, but just keep it around 30 for that one. And then the minimum wait time right here, honestly, this one's pretty self-explanatory, but it's literally the, the minimum amount of minutes that the system will wait before sending another email. So this doesn't necessarily mean, for example, with my setting that I have on two minutes right here, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's always going to fire an email as soon as it hits two minutes, all it's saying is that sometimes it might be two hours, sometimes it might be 10 hours, but it's saying that the minimum amount of time is two minutes, which I think is a good amount to have. And if you guys want to copy me, then go ahead and do it. Now, I really would stray away from doing one minute just in case it has like three times in a row where it's just sending an email, waiting a minute, an email, waiting a minute. Honestly, it might be me being a little bit superstitious, but just go with two minutes to be safe. Next thing, you want to absolutely make sure that you have the campaign slow ramp enabled. As you can see right here, it says that it gradually increases the number of campaign emails sent per day. So the last thing that you want is for it to just be sending a static 30 emails a day. So you turn it on and it's just 30 emails from the get-go 24-7. You want it to slowly be building up and we'll touch on that a little bit later on as we go through these settings right here. The reply to address doesn't matter, you can leave it blank. Then we've got the daily inbox placement test limit. Just set this to 10. As you can see, it says the maximum number of inbox placement tests per day. 10 is just a safe number. Honestly, you don't think too much about that. I don't think it really matters too much. The custom domain tracking. Now, this is, might be a little bit technical for you guys to set up. If you've done anything with domains before, even if you've connected a domain before, then it'll be really simple for you. As you guys can see, there's three steps when you hover over this information mark right here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your domain's DNS settings, then you want to create a new C name record, and then you want to enter the following value, which is this one right here, okay? It's really, really simple if you guys have any history of setting up domains, but I can't really show you guys right here because there's so many different domain registers that you guys could be using. You could be using Namecheap or you could be using using Squarespace or GoDaddy or something, but it's all gonna operate the exact same depending on whatever register that you're using. So just do these three settings, it's pretty simple, just connect it, and there's my one right there. After you've done that, you wanna click check status just to make sure. So as you can see, when I do that, it'll come up with ticks, yeah, cool, it's all set and ready to go. 
All right, so next up here, we've got the warm up filter tags. Now, as you can see, when I hover over it right here, filter tags are used when you're kind of trying to group a bunch of email accounts together. So you might have different sectors that you're trying to cover with different groups of emails. I haven't had to use it yet, but if you do want to do that, then assign a filter tag. Like I said, I haven't had to use it, so I just leave it blank like that. Now, this is the really, really important part, okay? So remember how we assign up top over here, the, the campaign slow ramp. As you can see right here, this, this basically states the increase in email sent per day day. Now it is suggested to only increase by one, but here's the thing. If you're using the free trial and you want to get the most out of the free trial, increasing the amount of emails that you send per day by three isn't going to harm anything. In fact, I would highly recommend just increasing it a little bit. It's not going to be enough that the system's being like, whoa, this guy's increasing his emails by 40 per day. We need to send our special ops team out to get him, but it's enough to kind of effectively increase the warm up process without, you know, risking or compromising the account. Okay. So just set it to three. Just trust me on that. Okay. The next Next thing we've got the daily warm up limit. So this basically refers to the zero out of 30 that you guys see right here. Again, it's suggested to do 10, but I kind of scale these numbers the same way that the suggested numbers are scaled right here. So you've got one and you've got 10 and the equal, if we're multiplying the suggested per day by three, which is three, then we obviously want to multiply the suggested daily warm up by three as well, which is 30. And then again, guys, just make sure that this one is not checked, okay? We do not want to disable the slow warm up. That's the last thing that we want to do. As you can see right here, it literally says not recommended for new accounts. So just make sure that that is not disabled and then make sure that the one up here is enabled, okay? So those are very important. The next thing is going to be the reply rate. Now, again, it's suggested to do 30%. I've never understood why they suggest to do 30%. Honestly, I, I can't really comprehend it. I've never really had any issues with doing 60%. So again, it's kind of a similar logic to what I did with these two settings. Just increase it by a little bit, not so much that it's going to be like 100% and they're wondering how is everybody this guy sent an email to always replying back to him. But also it kind of helps when people are replying to you. It shows that, you know, you're not sending emails to people who don't want the emails to be sent to them. Just just increase it a little bit kind of with the same logic that I mentioned up here. Now, the last thing is going to be these advanced settings, okay? And these are not going to be applicable for you guys if you're on a free trial. As you can see right here, this account for me is on a free trial, so I don't have access to this. But if you guys have upgraded right here, as you can see, it says that you need the hyper growth plan. If you do decide on upgrading to the hyper growth plan, all I would recommend is that you enable the read emulation it's very self-explanatory. This is where it's basically emulating human behavior in order to make it seem like you're actually reading the emails that are sent to you. And then the second thing I would obviously enable is the custom domain tracking, which you just enable right here. So those are the two settings that I would enable if you do have the hyper growth plan. And that's pretty much everything, guys. It's really as simple as that. Once you've done that, you want to just make obviously sure that you have the green flame checked on. And then a little secret tip as well. If you guys do have multiple emails, sometimes it can get you know a little bit overwhelming trying to manage everything all at once. If you want to apply the same settings across all of the emails, then just make sure that you select all of these right here and then you can apply the same settings across all of them. So literally all you have to do is just select all of your accounts and then come up to this top right hand corner over here and where it says buttons, bark, edit settings, you can click that and you can edit all of the settings all together. Okay. I haven't done that because I've only got two emails right here, but just in case you guys wanted to do it, you can edit the settings right there. Oh, and really quick guys, something that I forgot to mention, if you are kind of skeptical as to whether or not it's actually aligning with everything that it's saying that it's doing, you guys can literally log into these emails if you want to. So for example, here I've got my email right here and you can see I haven't sent a single one of these emails. This is all instantly.ai doing this all for me. So I'm receiving this email from instantly AI. I'm sending all these emails. This is instantly AI sending this email saying howdy Lily. So it's all instantly AI doing all this. I quite literally have not sent or received a single email myself. So I just wanted to show that because I thought it'd be pretty cool. That's pretty much everything guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.